Cassius. Clone Wars. Part 1. The Rookie and the Padawan. Chapter 4. The Countess stood, immobilized by fear as Ventress brought the blade of her curved saber closer to her neck. You sent the distress signal. Well, it seems you're not as stupid as I thought. Your master was able to negotiate a deal with the Countess for an alliance with her Dessa, despite your previous tantrum. I tried to make a counteroffer with the Countess, though I'm afraid I was unsuccessful. But I feel the time for negotiating has passed, and the time has come for action. The Countess now has a simple choice. Align with the Confederacy, or perish as we take the planet. Then why did you call me down? Because, if there's one thing I love more than killing a Jedi... Ventress was now singeing the hairs on the Countess' head with her blade. It's seen them rendered helpless. Drop your weapon, boy. And the Countess will live. If you don't, I'll kill her where she stands. Cassius looked at the Countess and back to Ventress before dropping his lightsaber to the floor. That's better. Now, Your Highness, have you reconsidered my proposal? You're a vile creature. Ventress sneered and touched her blade to the neck of the Countess, burning her skin as she screamed. Stop! Not another step, Padawan. Cassius stayed still, fearing for the life of Countess Sindara. Now, what were you saying? I... I will join with you. That's what I wanted to hear. Just sign the paper and this whole mess will be over. The Countess quickly signed the document on the table and held her neck in pain. Ventress retrieved the paper and put it in the pocket of her cloak. You have my sincerest gratitude, Your Highness. But I'm afraid I was unable to apprehend the Jedi who killed you. Ventress quickly lifted her blade to strike as Cassius reached out with the Force, holding her arm still. <laughs> Countess! Run! Countess Sindara ran towards the door as Ventress broke free and attempted to pursue her. Cassius pulled his lightsaber to his hand and held it at the ready, igniting the emerald blade. You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to this. Ventress threw down her cloak and ignited a second blade. The Countess has surrendered her Dessa to us. Killing you will be a wonderful bonus. Ventress rushed at Cassius and attacked ferociously. Cassius relied on his Form 3 training and blocked her strikes. As he batted away her blades, he leapt over her head and swung at her back. Ventress quickly ducked and evaded the Jedi blade and kicked Cassius' leg from under him, attempting to pierce him into the ground with both of her blades. Cassius, acting on instinct, rolled out of the way and, using the Force, threw a large metal chair at Ventress, who quickly sliced it in half. Your master should be disgusted. You fight like a child with a stick. My master is proud of me. I won't let her down again. Ventress and Cassius collided their blades again, illuminating the room in flashes of green and red. Meanwhile, Master Takai ran to Cassius' quarters and opened the door. R3, Cassius is in trouble. Master Takai and R3 ran to the hangar. Cutting through a large panel on the wall, exposing hundreds of wires and switches, the Jedi Master looked at the droid. The ray shield generator has been damaged. I need you to override the emergency doors. Once they're open, I'll fly out. Close them as soon as I'm gone. Understood? <laughs> Master Takai ran to a clone gunship and hopped inside. General, wait. Captain Krieger arrived accompanied by two clone pilots. Kenji, Maka, get it down to the surface and get all men back safely. Sir, sir yes, yes, sir. Master Takai quickly nodded and sat inside the shuttle while the two accompanying clones got into the cockpit. Let's go. R3 scrambled and sliced as fast as he could, cutting wires, rerouting circuits, and flipping switches. R3, hurry! Suddenly, the emergency doors opened as the vacuum of space began to suck out anything not tethered down. The gunship flew out of the hangar and into space as R3 released the controls and let the doors close again. Master Takai could sense that Cassius was in trouble. They had to get down there fast. Troopers, on the double. Yes, General. The gunship flew down towards Herdessa, evading the starships firing at them. All the while, Jiro was on his stolen speeder, droid scouts hot on his tail. This was a terrible idea. 
Aiming his blaster behind him, he fired at the droids following him, managing to damage one of the three speeders. It swerved, crashing into one of the others. Now it was a single droid scout, hot on his tail. As he looked ahead, he saw a steep drop and immediately halted the speeder, narrowly avoiding going over the edge. Engaging the thrusters, he sped towards the droid scout who fired a few shots at him, his poor aim reminding Jiro just how inferior droids were to clones as he fired off one final blast directly into the chest of his pursuer and sent him careening over the steep drop, erupting into a ball of fire. <sighs> Not bad if I do say so myself. Now to get back to the commander. Jiro quickly sped back towards the palace. As he approached the gates, he saw the Countess fleeing from her palace in terror, holding her neck. The clone quickly stopped the speeder and ran to her. Countess, are you okay? Please, please don't hurt me. Jiro quickly removed his helmet and looked at her. It's okay. I'm here to help you. Are you hurt? The Countess nodded and showed a very nasty burn from Ventress Saber on her neck. Your Highness, I've been trying to deal with severe wounds. If you'll allow me, I can help you. The Countess nodded and sat down as Jero removed a small tube of ointment from his belt. It's not much, but this back to solution will help the pain. Until we can get you proper medical attention. Jero removed a large bandage from his belt and placed it on her wound. Thank you. Now please, get me out of here. Your Grace, I promise. I will get you to safety. As he looked to the sky, he saw a Separatist transport making its way to the surface. Get on the speeder. We need to get out of here. What about your Jedi friend? Trust me. He can handle himself. No doubt his master is on her way as we speak. Well then, hurry. Get us out of here. Right away. Jiro quickly ignited the thrusters on the speeder as they fled the palace. Cassius was having trouble keeping up with the ferocity of Ventress. Their duel made its way out of the conference chamber and into the outside waiting area. Cassius tried to rush to the elevator, but Ventress sliced through the controls and kept her attacks coming. As Cassius dodged one of her swings, her scarlet blade pierced through the large window. Cassius knew he needed to gain more distance and jumped out onto a metal catwalk that bordered the top of the palace. Ventress pursued him with fire in her eyes. Soon they reached the top of the palace, powerful winds threatening their balance. Nowhere left to run, Padawan. I'll be sure to send what's left of you back to your master. If you're having this much trouble with me, Ventress, you wouldn't last five minutes with her. Typical Jedi arrogance. I'll cut out your insolent tongue. Cassius looked around. She was right. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Just a several hundred foot plummet onto solid stone. He had to think quickly. Fall back on the lessons from Master Takai's book. Ventress charged at Cassius and sliced at his neck in a scissoring motion. Cassius ducked, narrowly avoiding decapitation, and swept his leg under her foot, knocking her off balance and striking at her shoulder. Ventress caught his blade with one of her own and attempted to stab Cassius through his stomach with the other, but the Padawan quickly broke the engagement and fell back on the defensive. He was beginning to tire, and Ventress could sense it. She pressed her attack harder and harder, Soon, Cassius was being saved by pure instinct. He wouldn't last much longer. Meanwhile, Juro was speeding with Countess Sindara. The transport had sent more droids who were once again in pursuit of the clone. The speed is low on power. We won't last much longer at this rate. The speeder began to slow down, and the pursuing droids began to catch up. Just when Juro thought their luck had run out, the droid scouts were blasted into pieces. Looking up, he saw an approaching LAAT shuttle. Guns still smoking. Oh, thank the force. The shuttle landed as Master Takai stepped out and helped the Countess on board. Are you all right, Countess? I'm fine. I just need to sit for a moment. Trooper, where is Cassius? He's back at the palace. Ventress. Kenji, take us to the palace as fast as you can. Right away, General. Cassius continued his desperate battle with the assassin. He was now relying on every piece of saber training he could remember. But it was no use. Ventress had a counter for everything he threw at her. You're definitely difficult to kill. I'll give you that. A far better challenge than I anticipated from the likes of you. Cassius was breathing heavily as he swung his blade at Ventress' waist, 
only for her to catch Cassie's blade in a bind and disarm him with a swift spin, sending his saber tumbling off to the side. Before he could call his saber back to his hand, Ventress reached out with the force and gripped Cassius by the throat, moving him closer to the edge. But you vastly underestimate my abilities. Farewell, Padawan. Ventress dropped Cassius over the edge of the palace. As she turned to leave, she heard the distinct noise of an approaching ship and turned to see Cassius alive, standing on top of an LAAT. And you overestimate yours. The door to the shuttle opened as Master Takai leapt out alongside Cassius, who called his weapon to his hand as his master ignited her weapon. You have nowhere to run. Surrender. Ventress knew she would be outmatched here, but she had an escape plan. She just needed to buy herself a minute of time. Quickly, she pressed a button on her comlink and lunged at the two Jedi who combated her blow for blow. Master Takai was fresh and ready to fight. Ventress was quickly losing stamina. She attempted to strike at Master Takai who blocked the attack and swiftly headbutted the assassin directly in her nose, drawing blood. Stunned, Ventress was knocked to her back, the two Jedi blades at her neck. Your master clearly wasn't the best teacher. Surrender now, Ventress. Suddenly, the roaring of a ship was heard. Cassius turned around and saw a Separatist bomber heading straight for them. Master! This brief moment was all Ventress needed as she screamed in fury, using the force to push both Jedi several feet back before leaping into the air and landing on the bomber, activating her comlink. Do it now! The bomber quickly fired torpedoes at the palace, striking the elevator shaft and causing the top of the structure to tilt and sway as it began to collapse. Master Takai quickly helped Cassius up. Run! Cassius ran with his master, who leapt onto the LAAT. Cassius jumped and tried grabbing onto the ship, narrowly missing as he began to fall, only for Jero to grab his wrist and help him on board as the top of the palace tumbled hundreds of feet to the ground. As Cassius caught his breath, Master Takai spoke to the pilot. Get us back to the ship. Tell the captain to have R3 open the hangar doors and prepare to jump to light speed. Yes, General. What about Ventress? We can't waste any more time going after her. We need to get out of here before it's too late. As they flew back up to their command ship, Cassius saw the damage from the attacking Separatists was getting worse. They had no starfighters left to spare. Those that survived had been forced to retreat back to the hangar. They needed to get out fast. The pilot kept their ship moving as the gunner took out potential threats. As they approached, the hangar doors opened and the LAAT landed quickly inside. Master Takai quickly ran to the comlink on the ship. Captain, get us out of here. Preparing to jump, General. Within a few seconds, the cruiser jumped to light speed and everything was quiet. The tension in the air briefly subsiding. Master Takai saw that the Countess was shocked and still in pain. Juro, get Countess Sindara to the medical bay. Right away, General. Cassius took a deep breath and wiped the sweat from his forehead. Are you okay, Cassius? I'll be okay. What happened down there? How did Ventress get a hold of your comlink? My guess is that while I was talking to the Countess, Ventress subtly swiped the comlink from my belt. I'll give her this, she's crafty. After I left, Things must have turned sour between the Countess and Ventress. Why would she call me down with a distress signal then? I think her plan was to force the Countess to sign over her allegiance and then kill her, framing you in the process. This way, they would have control over the planet and would use her death to dissuade any other systems from joining the Republic. Words can't describe how thankful I am that you were able to stop her. Thank you, Master. And I'm sorry again for everything that happened. It's okay, Cassius. You took initiative today, even when it meant defying orders. You saved the Countess, and that's what's important. Head to the medical bay and check on Countess Sindara. I'll be there shortly. Yes, Master. Cassius quickly made his way through the cruiser to the medical bay, where Jura was finishing tending to the Countess's wounds. Your Grace, are you okay? Yes, and no. I'm very grateful to you, young Jedi, and to your trooper here. You've saved my life, though her Dessa is now under Separatist control. The document I signed was binding. I'm afraid the Confederacy now controls the system. Cassius smiled a very mischievous grin. 
That document. It wouldn't happen to look like this, would it? Cassius withdrew the document from his pocket as the Countess's eyes grew wide. How did you get that? I was able to swipe it off Ventress during the fight. She's not the only one who can swipe things unnoticed. The Countess smiled and took the document, tearing it to pieces. Does this mean you'll join with the Republic? I can't give an answer just yet. I need to rest for a bit. Please. Of course. Juro can contact us whenever you're ready. Juro smiled and nodded at Cassius, who smiled in return, before leaving the medical bay and heading to the bridge.